Hi there, this is Joe from Shop2 and this is our LEGO Dimensions review and I'm joined once again by Dan. Hello. I should have said I'm joined Dan then, said it's our LEGO Dimensions review, but never mind. Right, okay, there's going to be a danger in this review because I might just not be able to stop talking about it. <laughs> but, uh, so you better guide me, I'd say, Dan. Well, when it comes to Lego, I think we both play far too many Lego games anyway. It's not healthy, really. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Right. Well, I mean, I have to say, Lego Dimensions, the Lego de- uh, games recently have been getting a bit, have been getting a bit samey, I'd say. But Lego well, they have Dimensions, been since the first one, really. Yeah, but Lego Dimensions really mixes it up, and it's probably, it's definitely the best toys to game title there is. There's no doubt about it. The way right. they utilise the the portal is just brilliant. I mean, well, we first, start with that. Start with that. I mean, yeah. What's the? What'd you get in the box? Yeah. Well, first of all, you open the box up. In the box, you get the portal. You get Batman. You get uh, Gandalf, and you get what's their character? Oh, uh, Wild Ch- Wild Child Wild Style Wild Style from uh, the Lego movie. The movie yeah. uh, so it's good. There's a girl character in there to begin with, and with these three characters, you can complete the game. And, and and what happens in the game, basically, is that you've got different dimensions, so I won't name them all, but you've got, like, for instance, you've got The Simpsons, Doctor Who, Ninjago. So these, these dimensions already exist in the game? Yeah, they all right. exist, so as you go through them, you'll meet familiar characters, uh, like right. DC, for instance, you'll meet Joker, and, and you'll meet the, the the bad guy from the Lego movie, can't remember his name, and uh, also... Oh, you'll meet tons, there's just tons of bad guys in it. I mean, there's one level you have to fight about four bad guys in a row just to get to the end. And it's all really well-known bad guys. And uh, so you you build this portal, and basically you've got it on your desk. And uh, the portal, as you play through, you find these little, uh, I guess you could call them little dimensions, sort of discs. And these are on the the physical portal on the back of it so as you play through and find these in the game you'll take it off the back of the portal and put it on the front and right. that's just showing you what your progress is really and then uh, oh, but the portal's just brilliant I just what is, is the portal wireless or wired? Oh no it's wired it's attached with USB but what's so right. brilliant about it is it, it gives your characters new abilities so for instance in the game, you'll find sort of portals and you'll you'll whack them, and then I think three three or four three different colours come out, and and the physical portal is actually split into three different sections, so you can lift your character up and put them on one of the colours that will light up on the physical portal, and it will you'll either shoot out of portals in the game that correspond to that colour, or it will give your character a different ability for instance say it's yellow and you put him on yellow he might he might get surrounded by water so he can put out fires or you right. can then lift them up and put them on the red bit and they'll get covered in electricity so that he can short a circuit or something so in classic in classic um, lego games you would have to pick a certain character for a certain task whereas in this one you can actually load them with power-ups in yeah you can just you just switch them between the ports to give them different powers and and also, there's a good bit in the boss fights where the the baddies got uh, colours in certain order on his back, so you'll need to lift the characters up in the portal and put them in the right colour, so that and put them in the right order, so that you can beat the boss. Oh. <laughs> but it's just things like that. But there's so many different abilities that you can get just by using the portal. So is it by placing your character on the portal? That's that character that you play on the screen there and then, is it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, dep- well, you can switch characters, you can put any character on any car and then just switch to that character like right. you can in any Lego game, so obviously it's got co-op and stuff, but it, it's quite fun just the way the, that you can use the portal and move, you actually, with other toys to games, you don't move the characters that much, but with this you need to touch them all the time and cool. Good. and move them around, and obviously... As usual, each character's got different abilities, and there's just so many characters. So obviously, you've got the three I mentioned. You've got Scooby Doo characters, Ninjago. Ed. So these are the characters that you unlock as you play. Yeah, well, no, you'd need to buy these ones. Oh, so, so you've got to buy them to play the character. Yeah, so you need right. you can't you can only play the characters you've got. Right. So 
you can play well child uh, Gandalf and Batman and obviously you get the Batmobile and the starter pack as well so they can all drive around in that anyone can drive around so these vehicle. extra characters you buy then do they sort of open up more parts of the game uh, well, yes, yes and no, because like I say, the starter pack you can play through the entire game with, and then you've got, based on each of the franchises that you'll visit within the game, you can then use one of the characters, so for instance, Gandalf, you can go in the Order of Rings world, and you can just play around in the free roam part of that, and then, well, child, you can go in the Lego movies world, and you can play around the free roam part of that, and same with... Uh, Batman obviously go into the go into his world and free roam around that but obviously and you also visit other worlds so like Wizard of Oz, Scooby Doo, Ghostbusters all that sort of thing you will need you will need one of those characters in order for all your characters to gain access to that world so, so that's what I'm confused with so basically that means then parts of the games are locked out unless you buy a character yeah but the main game isn't locked out mm. If you see what I mean, only the free to play levels based on the franchises you don't have the characters for are locked out, but there's still an awful lot of uh, gameplay to be had just okay. in the main starter pack because obviously you've got the campaign which goes through all these different worlds and then you've got free play for three different uh, mm. type character types and then if you buy a level pack which uh, we've done a video of the Lego Simpsons one then you can Homer can, can go in and you can free play throughout that entire Simpsons level but you also get an extra level just for Homer where yeah. he's got this I mission saw that. Yeah. and you get his car and then his car has different abilities to Batman's car I know you're quite excited about it but I'm not oh, totally so sold on the whole fact that a lot of the game's locked out yeah well I, I have to say that's definitely a down part is that yeah. it's expensive. Yeah, but that's my massive concern. For what obviously you get for the starter and pack, there is a lot of game there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There is a yeah. lot of game. And then if you're to go out and buy a fun pack, which is a bit more, which is a bit of a cheaper one, which just comes with a character, then uh, uh, you can obviously go in with the character and play in the free play levels, which is nice. And then you get the team packs got Scooby Doo, which gives you Shaggy Scooby Doo and the Mystery Time Machine, and you can go in the Scooby Doo level and they can all drive around and that. But you don't with the team packs, you don't get an extra level, so you'll just be playing either through the main game, or you'll be playing in the sort of free roam levels. So to get Which extra levels, free roam, should be like the free roam Scooby Doo level, or. Yeah, you can gain access to it, but you can also gain access to the others you've got characters for as well. Mm. But obviously, if you buy the level packs, then you get extra levels, plus you get the free roam as well. But what's good about it is that each character has their own abilities, so if you buy loads more characters, they all have abilities, so it makes the, the main game, again, different, because you can obviously go and get the collectibles you couldn't get before with these new characters. But on the old games, you didn't have to buy extra characters; you just unlock them. Yeah, you see, you see my point. I'm a bit. <laughs> yeah, but but those old games were only based in one franchise, which yeah. in a way yeah. you're kind of getting anyway. And you used to get the free roam in those old games, and you still get the free roam. It's so the just... actual the actual gameplay is it very similar to the old games where you get a free roam area to walk to the next level, and then the next level you play through a boss at yeah maybe then another bit of free roaming or is it different? Yeah, well, you've, you've just got this campaign, basically, if you see what I mean. So you play through the campaign where you different uh, visit various different franchises and then you kind of get the free play. You can go back and free play that level. Is that, like, is that a side-scrolling platform style again, like all LEGO games are? Yeah, well, it's the same sort of style where it's sort of all open up and you can bash the bricks and and do everything you'd normally do. I mean, it's basically a Lego game. It's funny. It's very funny in parts. Cool, cool. It's one of well, the that's, funniest, that's what brings actually. It back, isn't it? It's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the, um, the addictive nature, of, not just the comedy, but also the fact that there's so much to unlock. And I feel, yeah. like I pressed on a little earlier now, I do feel that hiding a lot of it, that you can't unlock without buying characters, to me, defeats the purpose of what Lego games were in the past. 
Yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> I can see your point, and that would definitely be one of the bad points. But it's just so much fun being able to hold the characters and move them around the port. It just brings a different dimension to the game, really, which is probably why it's called Lego Dimensions. But yeah, it it does bring a different dimension to the game. It's, it's good. It's really so. Good. So for the the main box, the Lego Dimensions, would you recommend that as a standalone? Game. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. 100%. Oh. It's just so good. And and then I'd, I mean, I know it's not fun to spend too much money. I mean, I think I'm going to end up with everything. But <laughs> uh, honestly, the level, the Simpsons level pack is absolutely brilliant. It's Which so seems, good. This seems to be picking up from the, the Chili Cock Off episode. Yeah, and he's. Which is what, yeah. His superpowers, like the burping <laughs> and the, the grown giant, are brilliant. And. I've not tried the Portal level yet or the Back to the Future one, but I can't I can't imagine them being any less brilliant, really. So totally, one hundred percent highly recommended from me. I love it. Oh, cool. there you go. So that's us, I guess. That's our Lego Dimensions review. Thanks for joining us. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget that you can order Lego Dimensions, the team packs, the fun packs, and the level packs from Shop Two. Thanks a lot. Bye Thank you. Bye. Bye. I locked onto your scanner. Remember that. They say time machine, not a 3D printer. Just give me your grapple gun later. <sighs>